to do my hands too. Yes. I have nice. And five was a generous budget, huh? Those days movies were. We played Scrabble together, and I found his spelling is rather poor. <laughs> and no one can argue with it. When Dilip Kumar says argue is spelled A R G O O, then it's spelled A R G O O. <laughs> and uh, the two scenes we had together were shot separately. Uh, please ask Subhash Bhai why. I do not know the reason, but they were shot separately. So I did not really even get to act with him. And uh, the film, when I finally uh, got trapped into seeing it, I could only bear about 20 minutes of it. <laughs> what about your performance in, in The Prophet? Mm -hmm. I thought that was brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> but it wasn't perfect. <laughs> it can't be. The, the play I did called The Prophet, based on Khalil Gibran's book. I, again, I did that because I'm a... I suffer from onomatomania. <laughs> I just love speaking those lines. Mm -hmm. So I decided to do it in public. You know, that was really, I just wanted to share the joy I feel at reciting that with listeners. But uh, thank you for your compliment. Far from perfect. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I'm very happy to see you here. Uh, a major part of your life was spent in Ajmer, and even I'm from there. Oh. So I just wanted to know what the differences you felt Ajmer has gone through. Well, I, not much actually. Not as much as, as many other places I know. Not as much as Nainital, for example. I can still find my way around Ajmer. There are many areas of Ajmer which are still exactly the same as they were. The area around Mayo College, Fraser Road, <laughs> Railway Colony. It's, it's all exactly as it was. Uh, I lived in Civil Lines, which is uh, you know, past the Ajmer Club, down that slope over there where Jawahar College is. And that area has changed drastically. The roads too, too much stuff has been built. But a lot of Ajmer, I think it still retains its, its charm and its simplicity. Last question for the evening. How did you enjoy working in Janevi Goyaro? And what's your view of the Hollywood cinema? That's a very wide question. Janevi uh, Yaro was the biggest torture ever. <laughs> Everyone thinks that it must have been great fun. It wasn't. It was sheer, undiluted torture. By the way, one film was shot in my bathroom. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> because, again, its budget was five lakhs. Yeah. yeah. That, I was with FFC, we financed a lot of FFC. You financed it, yes. Five lakhs. And five was a generous budget, huh? Those days, movies were made in three and a half lakhs. Films like Albert Pinto and Sazai Mouth were made in three and a half. Um, we gave five, actually, so. Five. Said Manda took that one and a half lakhs, did something with it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and there were no air-conditioned trailers for actors. None of us was well known. None of us even had a car. Uh, I was I had just been married to Ratna, and I used to bring food from home, and Satish used to bring food from home. Satish was the only one who had a car. Yes, and between shots, we would all sit in his car, and he would switch on his air conditioner, <laughs> and the car would be parked at Haji Ali. It was a circle then. And uh, and we would share the food. Madhu would send, or Ratna would send. And there was and we had no telephone at home. So one day I left, telling Ratna I'll be back late. We were shooting at this NMDC guest house. I was not back late. I was not back that night. I was not back the next day. I was not back the next evening. And, and the second night, Ratna got really worried, and phoned up the NMDC to find out we were at this place. And she came over where we were shooting. In the, uh, like 15 scenes in three days, including the scenes of the dinner, the bomb, all that uh, completely absurd stuff. And we'd all been working non-stop for maybe 20 hours or something, and we were taking a break. I think the magazine was being reloaded. And Vinny Pradhan had fallen asleep at the camera. Kundal had fallen asleep next to him. His assistant was loading the camera. 
everybody had fallen asleep exactly where they were. And she said, it was like a scene out of Sleeping Beauty. Okay, I think all good things must end. And this has been wonderful talking to you, Naseer. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Naseer has signed books.